Thursday, the 4th of January, 2018. I'm in the town of Entebbe in Uganda. Staying at the Gorilla African Guest House. Beautiful weather, excellent, pleasant, not too cold, not too hot. Pure village weather. Plush palatial bungalows owned by private owners. Guest houses like the one I'm staying. And here is a typical Ugandan farmhouse. I'm entering a Ugandan farmhouse. It's not a hotel, it's a typical farmhouse. Banana plantations within the estate of the farmhouse. Mango trees. Two cows to provide milk. They've just been given their grass. Uganda is very rich in fruits, pineapples, jackfruits, mangoes. Yesterday I had been to Kampala. Kampala is too crowded and populated. Main Kampala city. Old Kampala, congested, the piggery of the farmhouse. Birds chirping, indescribable beauty. A local Ugandan farmhouse in Entebbe. The state house of the president of Uganda is also in Entebbe. And there is no need to understand the reasons. One of the most beautiful weather in the world. The weather, the weather is just amazing. Otherwise, farmhouses like this are common in India. In fact, in my ancestral villages, we do have farmhouses like this. So it's nothing special about the farmhouse, but the weather is just unique, unique weather. Unique weather. Pure village, country living. The weather, the weather is making the difference. Otherwise, farmhouses are something common in among the wealthy in India. Red mud, not paved concrete. Pure red, rich village mud. The weather reminds me of England during summer, cloudy weathers. No wonder British Prime Minister Sir Winston Churchill passed the remark. Uganda is the pearl of 
Africa. At that time, Uganda was a colony of the British Empire. And the reasons are not very difficult to understand once you visit Entebbe and Uganda.